What's up, whiskey lovers? All right, day three. I had to try and think about that. Don't worry, I'm not drinking all the whiskey all in one go. All right, so today's one is the Dobson Distillery. This is one that I've never heard of before. And um, to be fair, it was pretty hard to get good information about it. Um, this one's called the Old Reliable. So let's get her in. Now, some information about this one. Uh, this one is from New South Wales. Yes, New South Wales, it has it on the map. Again, this is from the White Possum series. So this is the 12 Australian whiskies. Um, that's what I'm starting off on this guide. Um, this is from Kentucky in New South Wales. Now, I've never heard of Kentucky before. Um, if you have a look at their website, it's a little bit unique. Um, the gentleman is from America. From my understanding, I think he's a uh, an ex-movie producer. Um, and I believe it was Moulin Rouge from someone's comments this morning on um, on my Instagram that he, he directed Moulin Rouge. which was pretty cool. Now he's living in Australia and they're making whiskey. Um, it is a 40... Percent and it comes in a 750 ml bottle. Price wise, it's around 70 to 90 dollars a bottle, um, and it's actually quite kind of hard to find because it's released in only every six months in small batches, um, or as they say, when the gods of oak deem it ready. We'll get into some cool stuff in a second about these guys. So this is more of an Irish style of whiskey. It's triple distilled in French Shiraz um, oak. Um, so there should be, mm, interesting. Okay. There should be a bit of a, a, a wine smell, but I'm getting a bit more lemonade. Um, now the history of the distillery, I've got a little note on the side here. I'm just going to read history of the distillery is pretty interesting is what I found out about them. Now, this is the, this is on their website. I, I'm not cutting anything out. Um, their spelling mistakes, their grammar. Now I've got bad spelling, mis, uh, spelling and I've got bad grammar. Um, but this website, even I could pick it up anyway. So I'll give you a bit of a history about it. Um, go and have a look at their website because I'm only taking a very small piece out of it, but it just enough to hopefully get you guys there. So before you receive your bottle of Dobson's whiskey, it is best that you know the magical tale of how it gets from us to you. It all starts with, with a secret field in the lowland uh, where the Vestal virgins tend to the veal, fields of barley, all cloned from one grain given personally to our farmer by passing vagrant who said he was the Messiah. Yeah, that's actually on the website. <laughs> So go and have a look. It is actually kind of um, interesting and kind of cool at the same time. So, all right, let's get into it. Now, there has been zero reviews online for this. I haven't been able to find one. Oh, can I just say something? How cool is this shirt? Malt whiskey. I know it's childish, but I bought it and I love it. And I reckon it's funny. Anyways, sorry, let's get back to it. Um, getting a bit of the wine smell but maybe for some reason i'm getting a lot of lemonade i don't think i've ever smelled a lemonade in a whiskey before that is a let me just have a quick look at something That's a very interesting um, whiskey. Again, like last night's one, I don't think I really got certain flavors of that. It is a very wine flavored kind of whiskey, if that helps at all. It's very crisp, it's very light, it's very clean. It is a very, very nice whiskey. And I know for a fact that my partner will love this. To me, it's probably not to my palate, um, not the way I like my whiskey, but I know for a fact that my partner, I think would absolutely love this whiskey. Um, so I'm actually gonna keep some of this to make sure that she samples it tomorrow, but 
That is a very, very good whiskey. Now, I couldn't find any age statement on it. I know they've got other whiskeys. They've got eight-year-olds on their website, um, but I don't have any other information about how long it was, you know, distilled and aged and whatever for. Um, but that's kind of... I'll stop drinking it because she's going to miss out on it. I enjoy it. I just don't think it's for me. Um, but... I can see that that is a quality whiskey. They've put a lot of thought into it um, and a lot of time and they've got a lot of skill in what they do. From that, I would probably, to me personally, that's a six. I reckon someone else is going to give that an eight. Um, I reckon Alinda, my partner, is going to give that an eight. For me, I would really be interested in trying their eight-year-old and seeing what kind of extra flavor. For me, it just doesn't have that burst of flavor which I really enjoy from my whiskeys. I will still classify that as a win because, as I said, from the start of this, I'm going to like certain whiskies and I'm not going to like certain whiskies. It's as easy as that. I kind of, I like this enough to be able to say that I would buy it for somebody else because I know that they would like it, but I probably wouldn't have this in my own collection. But that's still a thumbs up for me at the end of the day. So we're doing pretty well. Um... So far, we're three in, and I've got pre three pretty good reviews. Yesterday's one was was probably my pick out of the three so far. Um, so if you haven't watched that, go back and have a look at that now. Um, and join me tomorrow because we've actually got a Tasmanian, very well-known one, the Hellier's Road. It's a bit of a peated one. Now, if you've seen any of my, any of my original um, uh, reviews, I don't generally do much peat stuff. Um, very, very, very small amount I can generally take, but something like the, I don't have it in front of me, the Lefro frogs, the Arbergs and stuff like that, they're just not my style. So as I talk about, the palette for me is not the smoky stuff. So this will be interesting to see how this one goes. All right, guys, well, thank you. I know this one's late at night. Um, I just haven't had a chance to do anything. I've been doing work and had a baby. It's been going through some teething. This is the fun parts about having being a new dad. Um, but that is the reason why I'm doing these whiskey reviews is because I'm no longer able to go out to bars. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you tomorrow. And um, if you have any questions about this whiskey, make sure you let me know. Hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you tomorrow. See you.